All right, Formula Drift Seattle, three Pete. Wild. Two thousand was it? Two thousand twenty-one. Two thousand twenty-two. The cat's out of the bag. Chelsea won. Those three years, right? Pretty exciting. He's he's ripping, dude. He's um ripping. It was a wild time over there. I, not just him. Everybody was really doing a good time. Everyone was doing a good time. Fine. Everybody was ripping, having a uh, was really ripping and um really killing it out there on track. So it was uh, it was just enjoyable to be there. Just sucks. I had to run back. I'm like the I'm weather like, was pretty good. I was still hot on track. You're probably chilling in the stands. I was chilling in the stands. I didn't have AC this time, <laughs> but I had uh I was in the shade most of the time, so can't I can't complain. I did. I, I saw him out there baking in the sun. It sucks. It was uh it was filled with one more times over and over and over again. So we, many one more times. We definitely got our money's worth and our view time's worth for sure. Whew, Dylan got a workout. And you, you definitely got a workout. Oh my. <laughs> it was definitely good. A lot of cool battles. Uh, a lot of cool little funny things that happened in between. And we're going to get into this this time on the aftermath. Math. Arithmetic. Math. Arithmetic. So something that happened at the event that I didn't know about until way later. Social media did its thing. I didn't see it either. I wish I would have saw it. But... I, I had no idea what was going on. I was like, what What are you talking about? Obviously, we're, we're busy doing the shit. You know what I mean? But... Yeah, this Ferrari or whatever. That I had. honestly didn't even get to go to the car show, which I was pretty bummed. I wanted to walk around and like interview people like I did as previous years. But it was, I just had so much going on, I couldn't go and do it. So I saw when I rolled in in the morning, I saw some of the cars that were in the show and it was super awesome. And you know what you miss that you love? Hmm. You love the Laurels, right? Yeah. That dude Ian's was there. He loved that car. It is sick. The back window down, no pillar. That's yeah, that's it, gangster. It's, it's a vibe. It's yeah. definitely a vibe. Yeah, I, I didn't even know that was behind there. Like, I, you know, when when you're there, you're not really looking at any of that. But it's like I think they brought Dai's car again or something. Yeah, not his drift car, but the one yeah. that uh, turned fourteen man. That's dope. That's up that they had all that there. But apparently, in the midst of all that, there's a Ferrari that here's the clip like, hit something, dude. So is there K rail behind it? Is that what that is? I think it's just a fence. So it says minor damage, stuff like that. That's wild. So apparently the owner wasn't even driving it. It was someone else? Oh, uh, that's what I heard. But how did you not see that? Or did you just thought you could just stop in time? I think someone just never drove something like that before and like be... locked them up. I don't know. That's my guess. That's fucked. I'd be so pissed off. Here's some of the comments here. See? It's okay. I don't know how to drive without ABS either. <laughs> See, like I, that's what I'm saying. I feel like someone was like, "Oh no!" And they panicked and like <laughs> locked it up. All money, no brain. Unlike the Corvettes in the Barbie movie, you have to actually drive this one. The fence came out of nowhere. nowhere. <laughs> that's crazy. Glad everyone's okay. This fucking ass. The internet's the best for that shit. Someone so I was car. like, I brought this up to some people. I heard the throttle got stuck. Like, nah, bro. I would say that too. The throttle got stuck. That video says everything we're gonna say. Like, like you see the lockup happening. You can't, you can't deny that. The, the throttle got stuck if you were doing a burnout over there, dude. And then just Federico, Federico is in Italy crying right now. Yeah. So that's the other thing. I brought this up to some people, and they were saying like, "Oh, that Ferrari has a cease and desist." I, I don't know if that's true or not, but that's pretty wild. Why would it have a cease and desist? I don't, Ferraris like that. So this is the guy that owns it, Gregory Park. Yeah. I mean, I think it's cool, whatever. I don't care. You can be pinky all you want. Yeah. Pinky's out, when in doubt. It sucks. It sucks that it went into the... So, I don't know. I just looked a couple things up real quick. But, like, yo, Ferrari goes after mad people that, like, do this to their cars. What? Yeah. Yo, not for nothing. Yeah, dead mouse. I'm kind of about that. Dead mouse. I'm kind of about that. They have a stand there and they're trying to hold up to it. You are kind of paying for it, bro. So, it's kind of your... It's so weird, but, yeah... So what happens at that point? It's not like they become the there's, or... Here's other lawsuits that Ferrari has brought towards people. I also heard Justin Bieber's on one of the lists too. He but did like, something to his Ferrari and like they're like, yo, cease and desist, fool. So what the fuck does that mean? Do you just come and just take your car? You cannot do this to our cars. Our image is well, uh, something we really care about. Yeah, that and fucking pasta. So come like, on. Pizza, pasta, everything. I can understand being pissed off about the pasta, but the Ferrari... Pause. We definitely miss Federico, first and foremost. 
That's what I'm saying. He's out there crying. He was really putting it on for art. You know what I mean? Like, putting it out there in the right way, I feel like. I mean, there ain't many people that can say they're pulling up drifting a Ferrari, so I'll give you that. So that's pretty sick. But that yeah, is cool. That is, that a is couple cool. different people. Yeah. Just because they do something to the car. They mod the car, and then, like, Ferrari's like, nah, we would never do that type thing. Like, you can't do that. So, yeah, pretty wild. Damn, Ferrari. You're right? like, you guys are like the Karens of the, uh, <laughs> the manufacturing world. Right? So, yeah, qualifying, we even saw some destruction. But right before practice ended for qualifying, going into qualifying, it was like the last thing that happened. Jeff Jones went went into outer zone three and I don't know. His car sounded terrible. Terrible. I, I could hear it and then instantly it was like track cleanup time. Oh, and they had a whole trail that the track staff like had to clean up and like they made a big line. Like that was the end of practice. Oh yeah, that's right, that's right. That's why they had all that all that out there and stuff. We were worried about that. Yeah. It's a shame, dude. It's I mean so I didn't know he how didn't bad qualify, and then one other person didn't qualify. Did you know who that was? Who was the other person that didn't qualify? Just flat out, just double zero. No uh, car issues. I think it was Ken. Gucci. Oh, that's right. Shit, I actually don't Ooh. even know what happened. All right, yeah. So yeah, sixty nine legs. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> you know what we're doing out here? We're just trying to do some things. Fucking okay, right. Um, yeah, Ken, I, I don't know if he made a post or not, so I'm just jumping on here and looking. Nah, okay, old Johns. Oh, he- Mechanical Gremlin takes us out of competition early on here at Formula Drift Round 6 Seattle. We had to retire the car for qualifying. Sucks to be in this position, but we are already working on a solution for the... That sucks, man. That's rough. Damn, so Jeff Jones. Oh, that Gucci. sucks so bad. It sucks that these guys have to travel so far, do all that, and then just things like this happen. That's just part of racing, obviously, but we're just saying, like... At least, if we're going to look at the silver lining, at least it happened on the West Coast for these two guys. Yeah. Because that's where they're from, right? Both of them are from the West Coast. Yeah. Yeah, look, everyone's, and everyone's sending the vibes out there. That's rough. I wonder. I like if- Ken's car. I like how it has that, was it, the the V6 from the... I don't know, because he changed it. Forget. I was actually just talking about it, but... Yeah, I'm not sure. Do you remember? It's a V6 from, uh... Oh, the FJ? Oh, yeah, I think you're right, yeah. Because I think previously it was like GTR or something like that. Twin Turbo. Or something crazy. I forget. He had something gnarly. Was it that? No, it's... Sorry. Let, Let us know wild. in the comments. Yeah. Well, if you know, know, shout it out. There's a Gucci nerd out there that knows. It'd be great. Nah, so that's the FJ engine, right? Uh, that'd be sick, though. It says FJ Cruiser engine. There it is. Okay, cool. The FJ boy. That's pretty gangster, man. That car is so cool. I really do love his car. And it's like, it's it's an engine swap, but it's like, oh, it's cool. It's it's different. In a, in I was a, talking about actually about this spot, Bowles in LA. Mm-hmm. It's so cool. Um, Jonathan Wong's car was just in there. It, he had like a EF9 hatchback Honda, like Suzuka blue color. Um, yes. yeah, that's the roast me in the comments if I'm wrong on the color. What'd you say it was? <laughs> I think it's Suzuka blue. Suzuka. I know that that's the that's the. S2000 color and some nerds out there twitching. Right? I forget what that one's called. I think I'm right, but I, I'm not in the Hondas anymore. But I was, I don't remember everything. But anyway, that dude is from, um, he ran uh, Super Street back in the day. Oh, type. Uh, was the editor in chief. For people that don't know what Super Street is, it, it was a magazine. There might be some people who don't. There might be. There All might right, be some kids on there, dude. All right, whatever. There might be some kid on there. Like, anyway, he's super cool, man. I don't know. But anyway, Bulls is a cool store. They sell merch in LA. And they even sell, I just found out, they have like Ken shirts in there. It's like street wear in there. It's not like, I don't know. It's really cool. We should go there. It's like a way cooler vibe than Zoomies, dude. <laughs> but Zoomies is cool, too. 1,000%. But I'm just saying, there's other options out there, like these yeah. places, that our homies own. Like, I think Jonathan actually knows the dude really well, and it's like, you know, he's a homie. Everybody loves him. 
So Ken always pulls up there. I think his car was there once or something. I don't know. But yeah, FJ. That's what he said. I like it. I like it a lot. I like it's different, you know what I mean? And in, in a mm-hmm. time where it's really hard to be different, yeah, it's cool to see someone who has backing like that to do it. And um, He was saying he works on most of his car himself and... You know, it's a I lot. think that's him. How is him and his dad always been right working wow. on their cars and stuff like that? Pretty sweet. OG right there. Exactly. OG. So those two they didn't make it in. What else we got on this list here? Oh shit, Taco Bell. Yeah, the the Taco King, dude. Let's see this dude. <laughs> I know a lot of people didn't catch this, but this shit is hilarious. So let's check it out. Oh, oh hold on. Let me back it up. Let's start over. Pause for a second. Oh. oh! He gets racked in that like head. He got the head hit. Chick came in. So that was his first qualifying run. Ouch! What was the damages? Bad. It moved something in the back that they had a weld. Basically, you'll see like one of the arms. I'll show you. And then it broke the rack. But listen to him here. <laughs> yeah, too much Taco Bell for sure. <laughs> My man ate the Taco Bell and hit the wall. <laughs> My man said too much Taco Bell. Who taught him that? Hold on, listen again. Yeah, too much Taco Bell for sure. <laughs> <laughs> too much Taco Bell for sure. He's so heartbroken as he says it. Yeah. Oh, man. He should have chilled out on that hot sauce, I guess. I don't know, man. Straight fire. So, yeah, check out in the back. So this bolt shifted uh, up here. Basically, it wouldn't be retained. So they basically had a weld, like some spot welds on it so it wouldn't move around. Kind of keep it there. Yeah. And then a uh, last minute decision to do a rack because the rack was actually broken. And they didn't realize until he went out just to do like a flip around real quick to make sure everything's okay. Mm-hmm. It was like hard, hard, hard. And then like fast, like, like. He's going to have to crank it on the entry, and then all of a sudden it'll be super easy and, like, throw it into the wall. Like, you know, so we, Jerry basically made the call and was like, we have to do this. And basically there really wasn't enough time for these guys to do it. And uh, they actually caught a five-minute going. Look at this. They even had this shooter out. That was just for, like, the, the connections for uh, power steering fluid. So then they wound up, took so long because it was just a pain because they put all the time into the back and then they found out, you know, mm-hmm. needed a rack. So it was a crazy situation. But these, had du- they, these dudes were thrashing. Ha- had they known prior to, they probably could have delegated that differently, right? Yeah, definitely, definitely. And it was just hard to know, you know? They yeah, looked, yeah, for sure. I mean, everything. Yeah, like a lot of people Nothing looked say, bent like, up front like that, but yeah, look at this dude. Honestly, it came down to like three seconds. It was pretty sick. I, I was almost like, oh my god, I don't know what's gonna happen. Like, yo, there was it, the tension was crazy because I was there. This is one of the one things I definitely know from behind the scenes. Like, I, I was like, oh my god, oh my god, the emotions were high, bro. Look, slamming the hood down. That's sick. Good stuff. That's why I need a good team, man. That's why I need some some warriors out there. Yeah. So those dudes were warriors, dude. That's what's up. So that was super positive for them either way. But yeah, there was a ton of carnage like that. Um, I think even Wang hit the wall a bunch, right? He did on. Uh, uh, was that was it practice? No, no like, was I'm it, pretty was, sure. It was qualifying? I'm pretty sure. Uh, Bro, yo, I don't know, man. Everything like that before, like this, you know. All right, so I gotta say, in practice, I don't know. I wasn't very impressed. He did get hit in practice. Who hit him? Forget. But at first, I, I actually I have the clip somewhere. But at first, I was like, oh, or no, I don't think I have the clip. I just saw it. And I thought he spun out in person. And I was like, oh, wow, he's just not handling this track well. I was completely wrong. 
someone hit him on the bank. I forget who mm. it was. And then, like, sent him, like, flying. I was like, oh. So I don't know if his car took serious damage this whole weekend from that. Super possible. Because it looked pretty hard. And I thought, like, for the most part, this track was going to suit the way uh, Wang drives more, but he just seems to be having some trouble. I'm curious yeah. to see what it was or what it could have been, you know what I mean? Maybe it was um, just off beat or what, you know? Yeah, so here's his first qualifying round. 15th. And he didn't. He missed a bunch of rounds. Two rounds, right? Or how many? Three? I don't remember anymore. Two or three rounds, I think it was, yeah. Now he's back. Climbs up. Oh. Damn. He went for that ride on the wall. That probably definitely. He, he went up, came off, and I think when he tried to reposition himself back up, just kind of. Yeah. But you know what? It could have been worse. That's if you're going to. It's definitely some serious damage there yeah. on there. That car looks good, but. Yeah, that thing, dude. But yeah, he, he struggled in qualifying as well. And then, honestly, he was like a flop for me coming back. But it could have been from that. Could I mean, it, could have something been. could have happened to his could car. Have, I don't know. Yeah, something could have been tweaked or something I'm just like being that. harsh. I'm being, you know, harsh critic. Well, we're just used to seeing him murder it. You know what I mean? I like, know. I think that I wanted to see yeah. it. I think I wanted to see it in Long Beach. Like, I was like that. I always, like, think, like, he drives well there. So I was like, oh, he's going to come back and, like, really put on a show. And I just, like, didn't feel that. Right. But that's all right, you know, I guess. Yeah, too much, too high expectations, bro. You know, I don't know. I was trying to have a little fun, and, like, I posted the first day real quick. You know, I thought that was funny. It's always good to have that dude there, and... I just yeah, you know, you kind of need that, you know. I mean, he definitely brings, at least for me, he brings like a little bit of nostalgia with that S15. All right, so we got left. Look at this spread you guys got going on here. I feel like we're killing it. It's dude. tight. I like that. The I'm cat trying, one. Look I'm at trying. the cat one. Look at the cat one. That People love that one. I like that one. So this is uh, Taguchi's car, but him just doing a rip with the swivel mount on it. The uh, boys at the swivel uh, mount. Boss, swivy. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, that is so good. That is too good. What's that other one you had? It got a, a ton of shares. It was cracking me up. Uh, I loved seeing that spin you, around. You know the cat people were all about it. They were like, oh yeah. Yo, okay, so there was this thing when I worked at Schmerf Tramp. Uh-huh. When I worked there, we always were like, if you put like puppies, cats, or I forget what the third thing was, but like, it was like guaranteed to go viral almost, you know? <laughs> like <laughs> So do that. Proof is in the pudding. More cats, more Proof pets, more pudding. animals, I don't know. It's 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 scientific. Humans this like one? animals more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh boy. Who is the interview? The fairy dust. <laughs> it doesn't exist. It's never landed. It is no matter. It's not on the elemental chart. It it's not fucking real. Right? <laughs> it's, 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 a it's a wazzy, it's a woozy. It's a wise woozy. I don't know. I'm sure we all feel the X Factor. I li I like like just the sound of the X Factor song. I'm in to keep it around, <laughs> but like, yeah. Like, but I'm all right. But I'm X gonna give it to you when it. <laughs> like, I don't know. I'm feeling it. It's fun. It's the X Factor. It's like I don't know. Joe Rogan could come announce next. I don't fucking know. It's the X Factor. Nobody what? knows what it is. Wow, like, look at all the smoke. I wonder if that's hurting the user. Can you imagine? Uh, the X Factor is, uh, it, I, I've seen it, but it, 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 there wasn't a lot of it. I don't think there was that much. There wasn't a lot of it? This round? Is that what you're saying? Yeah. yeah. Oh my God. All right. You sound like what's his name Cl trying to clown Dylan and all these boys. I want to see. I want. Come on, guys. I want to see a clean Who was it? It was Dylan Hughes. No, who was the... Uh, Lantane. Oh, Lantane was the uh, one saying Lantane. that. Yeah, that's right. Lantane was saying that. Anyway, here's the explanation for the X Factor. I made this funny little thing. Heavy and, th heavy and controlled throttle usage, driving with big angle with consistent pace, following a showing vehicle stability and balance. That's important. Balance, baby. Showing... Life's about balance. <laughs> like... Showing vehicle stability and balance, performing at a high level of driving. 
Or like a ballerina. Yeah. I, I don't know. Pretty much, that's just big words for like, yo, make that shit look smooth and make We it want balance. this to sound general, but like descriptive. Yeah. I feel we're like... falling somewhere in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All right, so... What do we have next here? So I thought, like, Saturday practice, I was saying earlier, was, like, more fire. Like, Yo. there was way more bangers happening Yo. to me. I, I, don't, I know from I was the like, wow. this, but, like, yo, we need a stream practice. Like, practice oh, has wait, some on, of... On, on. Oh, wait, no, you're good. Sorry. Practice has some of the best heaters. Like, there's some serious good footage and, 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 and battles and little... Like, not battles, but you know what I mean? Like, there's some good Bangers, runs that dude. go on and, and during practice. I don't know what it is. I don't know if I guess that like, means you just have to, like... They want you to, like, come to the event or whatever. Yeah. Or but or let's or see... Yeah. Ooh, let's turn this down. But yeah, here's a couple bangers at Rome Field. Both these dudes looking pretty good. Field qualified first, right? Yeah. So, dude, there was just so many good bangers out there, honestly. Dude, look at the angle, dog. Rod in the line, baby. I suck at shooting. I didn't get that wall. I see that. Yeah, you're a professional, dude. Know. Wow. Dylan! King Dylan! His home track. Shredding. Dude, he was shredding. He was so was Travis, bro. Travis, dude. Oh, I was so heartbroken for him, man. A lot of the drivers that were... well that that's right into our next thing, but let's see a couple more of these. Yeah. A lot of the drivers were complaining about not being able to see outside zone two because of all the smoke. I wish he just would have taken a lot of the out here the and hangar? Uh, no, no, not there. When they do the transition. Uh I like, why don't they just put a bunch of like black flags right there? Because it's all white there. They did have it there. They they ended up putting some stuff up, but I mean, I'm like, man, they just... had the uh, actually when I was live streaming, I did see them. They had like these Nibori, uh style FD flags. I was like, damn, I want a set of these. It was pretty sick. Oh, well, here's Travis. It's my boy right there, dude. It drop, drops a little. Coming in, dude. Dude just rips, bro. Dude just rips. That might not have been his best run, but nah, but trust me, he was. Ripping. We're just scanning through some clips here, buddy. Finally got to meet his grandma and grandfather at this run because they were close by. How sweet were they? I bet Super they were the sweetest people. Super sweetest Earth. people ever. You could just tell. It's Honestly, Travis. Like, you know, they're part of Travis's family. Like, gotta be nice. I love how, like, they're super sweet and everything, but, like, Travis low key, like, his is the Ooh, hardcore, like, 90s. Did you see that? Dude. Heater, dude. Look at that. See that transition? How. Very well calculated. Is. Turk was on. Hold on, while we're watching this, Turk was on. Why don't you explain what the deal is, what they're looking at here? Do a quick little rundown here. Just so we're clear on. So you can see here the start. So that's you know obviously where they're starting off, and they use that whole run up, and then you see that uh, that first red mark right here. Now it's the decel part. So obviously they're deselling stuff and they're still staying riding it all the way around when they're getting right to the tail end of outside zone one. So that's another, coming off the bank. Yeah, coming off the bank. So if you come off too early though, they're going to ding you really hard. But in any case, you use that Big to dingers. slow down. Big you, dingers. You, <laughs> you, you calculate your scrub to try to get you right into outside zone two. You how, have, how does one calculate scrub? I, they're professionals, dude. I don't know. Okay. We can get Just into it. Sure. You know what I mean? Just make it put that out there. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it sounded good there. <laughs> now, very important. It's going like from outside zone. Scrubbing. When you're in outside zone two, they want you to transition before you scrub speed in outside zone three. And you can see here, the D cell zone is actually the length of outside zone three. So that's what I was just looking at. I was just because like I liked how Ryan went in there like that. But I was just making sure that was a full D-cell zone because that's yeah, what he did. Yeah, he yeah. floated that, but he was so fast from that transition yeah. and the bank. He was a little low coming off the bank, but definitely was flying. Yeah. D-cells in here. After the D-cell, hopefully, hopefully you calculate that, right? So you have enough scrub to get you close enough, but out enough to get to this inner clip. You do the transition. There's a little bit of a D-cell. Again, you have to transition before doing the D-cell, mm. and then you ride out on throttle here and off to the races. No, it's a very easier said than done. You may not. I'd say, yeah. It was, uh, everyone was having a hard time um, over the uh, the weekend as we were watching during practice. Again, I say I'm chalking it up to just smoke, shadows, sunlight.
Dude, Vaughn, bro. Vaughn returning. Vaughn's back. Vaughn's back. Look at that line right there. Fatty. Dude. <laughs> Vaughn, Vaughn can okay. do anything, dude. He can literally. Also, do you anything. see who's in fought, like chasing him right here? John Barry All right, it was you. You're about to see. Didn't end very well. I don't know if he like you know. He got faded right here. Oh, is this when he went to the wall? Yeah, bro. Oh no, no, no. I was like, he got lost in that smoke or something, bro. Uh, this guy like was just checking on him, making sure he was all right, uh, and then gonna have obviously the medics just to make sure he's cool. He was cool. He jumped out of the car. It's rough, man. Dude's definitely a good sport. I went to Brazil earlier this year. Got to see him drive out there. Dude's a ripper. Dude absolutely rips. Obviously, I can imagine it's a lot easier for someone in their home country to be doing everything. They have so much more things at their disposal. But he's just been having a, a, a tough go the last couple of times I've seen him like, last year, this year, right? He's just been, it's just. But, yeah. but, can you remember uh, Jersey? That was his best round I've ever seen, actually, I feel like. Yeah. Right? Well, I mean, there's definitely been some flicks. Here, he did not look comfortable. I can no. definitely say that that much. But, unfortunately, I think he had a couple wrecks, too, this weekend. So, that was pretty, that sucks. But, dude. cool to see a C7, or, yeah, C7 out there. Just, uh, just not the way we want to see it. Yeah. And then, let's find the bracket real quick. All right, so here's the bracket for top 32 and on. Uh, we saw a few qualified first. Gets a bye run. Yep. Odie, two, gets a bye run. Right and that me. was from Ken and Jones. If those dudes would have qualified, we'd had a full field and... and and ripping him. This, and just to reiterate, Odie is still on that, on the same tip that he was from the last round. I was watching Odie. Like, um, yeah, yeah, Odie. Field two can't take anything away from field. Field's been looking really good out there too. All right, so where did this start? These are just Taylor Hall and point can turn it up. You know what I mean? Taylor Hall and Rome. Okay. So what was this? The Taylor Hall? Yeah. Nope. Okay, so here's just another practice run. That's what I was just trying to see. Oh, here's Wang. Well, not a bad line for Wang either. Oh. Oh, pretty sick. Rome killing it, bro. Yo! Rome looks so good here. That's another person. Right. Rome is like, I like to say. Like stand out, like you were saying. There were some bangers. Like, he was throwing down, yeah. son. Definitely like the, um, the vibe he's bringing. He's a he's a fun one to watch, man. Let's not go there. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. All right, here's a sick run. Fatty. Mm. Uh, oh! 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 Dude's amazing. I even forgot I shot that. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta cut this clip out. Dude, deep. Deep. Look at, look at that needle placement, dude. Oh. Make him say, oh. Oh. Any deeper, bro? Shout out to BC. BC. Woo. Wow, dude. So maybe sometimes I can shoot. <laughs> Damn, that was sick. I'm glad I got that. That was good. <laughs> I like how you just discovered it. Yeah. Again. Deep. Fat line, fat line. Oh. oh. Comes out outside zone yeah. pretty little early. Bo. Ooh, comes out a little early also. Dude. What is up, dog? Oh, there's a Nabari flags up there. Whoa, look at Gene. You don't see Ooh, the look at that. Ooh. Missed that zone. Little, little, little Thort. Little Thort. See, look, you see him? Oh, yeah, so here's the flags. You were just talking about that, right? A lot of guys couldn't see the zone. I could still see how that's hard to see right now. But look, still. That's what I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying all of this right here, I think, should be blacked out. Yeah, you don't see shit. You know what I'm saying? Because they're saying, like, they just can't see it, dude. You know what I mean? Like, they got to monetize the value. No, you're right. They, they should have did, like, 
something. A black, you, like, you see them all right here. Look, just move all these Johns over here. Easy, son. You're good. You can't be doing that. Why not? That's GoPro, son. Well, no. They just came back in the sport. I don't know what that's about. Oh, they're back? I guess. That's some media. That's some media shit right there. I didn't even know that move. Mm -hmm. Odie. Oh. Sends a nice one in. Dude's not playing games, bro. We're going to see the no dog in. In practice with Turk. Dude. In practice with Turk. Oh. You know what I'm saying? The, the dude gets it, man. And Turk. Turk too, man. Oh, Dylan. King Dylan. King of the... Dude, the one more King Dylan of the King, Pacific dude. Northwest. I don't know what accent that was, but... <laughs> It was like, what's up, bud? We're pet friendly. We want to be viral. We got my dog, Lucko, the puppo here. A little Lucky. Lucky Luciano. He's scared of everything. Thunder, all that. All right, here we go. So, sending it. There you go. Oh, that's Hughes and, uh, and uh, Breeder. Scoo! Yeah, they were looking tight together. That's what I mean. Practice Saturday was firing off. Tell it man, was lit. If you ain't seen practice, you're missing out. Some Yo, he he made it through. Yo, he was look, 16. He was looking good too. I was watching him in practice. He was looking real good. Berg, the force. All right, so we get it right. Practice was pretty lit. Practice was lit. Oh wait, hold on. We gotta see some of these real quick. All right, so I didn't get the best shot. I think Tyler was sitting here for a long time. He got some bangers. Oh, oh, oh short. Kind of sick, but short. Short for the clip. Oh, oh. Hey, this looks fat, dude. Oh, look at that thing, bro. <laughs> but he's not in the zone. He's not in the zone, dog. Style points, baby. Big trad dad. Dude. Skirt! Travis the Grim Reaper Reader. That should be his nickname, dude. I know. Travis, hit us up. Yeah. 992. At 992, you could probably DM me. Maybe we would make you a shirt we could collab on Travis to really up Grim, your street game. Grim Come Reaper. hang with us, dude. That We're from the East Coast. Like. None of that Walmart garbage, bro. The Grim Reaper Reader. Yeah, let us redefine your, your being. Yeah. Whatever manager J-Rod... Decided to put on. Oh, did you see that fatty? Dude, mer look at that. So, look at how deep. Bro. Yo. Yo. He's Dean. It's Dean, bro. The Yo. angle and the fatness people, he's dialing in people right here. People keep sleeping on my boy, bro. Oh. <laughs> look at that. Go back. Go back. Show him again. I just Show broke my neck. Show him again. Yo, seriously. That is insane. Look at that whip out of that. How did he leave there so fast? What just happened? Bro. Ah! Did you see how deep he was? You ready, bro. He, he hit him with the spin, bro. Oh. Like, he hit uh, him with that crossover. Like, bam! That, you ain't never getting that. Ty, he is... I don't know basketball well enough to... I'd be like, he hit him with that... Yeah, spin move. Just say spin move. No, like the crossover. I feel like the transition. Like, but I mean, yeah, I, I'm, yeah. I'm trying to think who... who Who's the top dog that does that? Oh, Allen Iverson, bro. Oh, that's what I was going to say, but I didn't want to like be like, oh, no, nah, yeah. he didn't. Well, yeah. Nice. It's location six. I figured we'll look at a couple of these real quick. Mm. Eh, sorry. That's twice, bro. You don't I like know. this dude. Yo. You don't like this dude, bro. He did it to himself. Oh. Wrong daddy. Yeah. Yo, and... and uh, Carnage had a couple of good ones too in practice too. I was watching. I was like, damn, Iron, you can't miss him. If I'd say too. Player. He looked fast. He really did. All right, yo. So let's find top thirty-two, dude. And top thirty-two, boss man. Oh wait, hold on a second here. This is fire. Yeah, <laughs> burn it in practice, bro. Sorry, I suck at camera work, but. Go. Oh, boss man. Hold on. Let's see. Go get them, lad. 
Vern getting Junior Brother back on it and back on the wall Dude, with that ass. Let me tell you something. It is a different vibe when JR is around. It's awesome. Did There's you hear? Did you that. listen to his channel? There's a, no. Why? Wow, you should dial in when you're up in the sky, bro. Oh, you like you mean when I'm? He'll be like in the guy. No problem. <laughs> like he's he's all like so calm. Like his Dude, brain. He is. He is. He's hyper focused and like. He he's, knows exactly what's up, and, like, he becomes, like, I think he might just drive with his mind soon. I don't dude. know. And it's it's just wild, because, like, Vaughn just, he's really good. It's it's just, you know, we like things to feel a certain way in the car, and Vaughn's like, oh, I'll just drive whatever. And he murders it every single time, mm -hmm. you know what I mean? So it's just, and then, like, the vibes are good when he's around. I love the rugged, like, you know, when it's just... The boys and like Chelsea's there and everything, you know, it's like it's, it's more of a rugged vibe. But like being there when Bond's around, it's just like, bro, it's different. You know what I mean? It's like he just like yeah. Also, I feel like I don't know. He's a legend, bro. Just putting that out there. Yeah. Odie, Odie trying to push in all hard. Oh, Odie's like, let me show. Oh, you. this was practice, dude. They got. Okay, I'm, I'm glad we're actually you. watching this. I'm telling because, you, screen I, practice. But also, like, dude, this is like the second or third run you guys did with Turk. So you guys knew what was going oh, down. Yeah. Yo, and, and Turk, look at this. And Turk's I'm car burning, is fast. I'm burning. I'm burning. I'm <laughs> burning. Turk is fast, man. You know what I mean? Like, it was. It was a. You know, we'll get into it later, but it was... Yeah, I was telling someone Turks do, man. Like, he's he's had a rough go, and it's... Okay, it was that one. But here's the Cash, John, right? Cash had a uh, uh, an injecto Cito for his uh, exhausto. So do we have here, yeah. It's, it's when he's in the lead. And Forsberg sees it all go down. He just, he's just in it. All right, we're going to go a little out of order, but yeah. So you pointed that you told me this earlier. Yeah. I did see this. It was on Forsberg's page. We'll we'll check that out too. But oh, oh you see, it, dude? Yeah. <laughs> so pay attention to see if <laughs> where it goes. Bro, you see this shit? <laughs> Bro, man's exhaust gone. <laughs> what happened? Injecto exhaust dude, killed Forsberg. What like, is that, dude? what operation? Who did that? Who now, loosened the bolts, bro? Now, if you on the other videos, you could see that it was dragging halfway through the bank, and then Yo. it finally like decided to detach itself. Keep on going forward. See where it hits, and see what the people behind the fence do. Oh my god! <laughs> What's this? Oh, that's, that's a clip. Too... What's that? That's another piece. There's two pieces. Whoa! Oh! oh my god. <laughs> There's two pieces. Yo! Oh my god, bro. One, two. And they're big as shit. It's a whole exhaust system. Good lord, bro. Oh. oh. Man's clean up on aisle two, man's. Oh my god. <laughs> what is that? Wow, that's funny. Yo, big ups to Forsberg for just whatever. I'm still staying in it, dude. Yeah, uh, I think that was a uh, boss move. That was, that was dope. So where's it at? I know we got him. Ooh. Oh, my bad for the ads. What happened here? Did I just blow it? Sorry. Wrong one, dude. Wow, dude. What? I thought he posted it, no? I thought oh, he, he did, right? Here, right? They're posting too much. Oh. <laughs> Just throwing out some luggage. Editor's note. Look, you can see the exhaust right there. Yeah, I see it. I see it. And then it later. Yo, but on your clip, you can see the other piece. Dude, wild. Let's read some of these comments. I think everyone in the field would rather have exhaust flying at them than you brake checking Breaking them. Oh! oh! Are, are they saying that about Cash? He, he's not known for doing that. Oh, bro, are you serious? Oh. Come on. Damn. Damn. Yo, Austin was like, 
Let me flip this around on you real quick. Oh my god! I just realized. I didn't even realize we were gonna get into something like that. That was crazy. <laughs> I didn't realize it was on Forsberg that posted it. <laughs> that makes sense. He may have shot an exhaust at you, but was his f- hood flopping? Uh, that's our job. No longer exhausting. <laughs> the judge sucks. Time to change. Everybody says that my pause game is pretty good. If you know, if you must know, pack your shit on the trailer, bud. Oh boy, dude. Jeez. All right, Jesus. Now, obviously, Jonathan did not mean for that to happen. So, and uh, it seems like Chris was a good sport about it too. He understands that that stuff happens, but fuck, could you imagine? Oh, he apologized right here on the post too. What a good guy! Ah, I'm Josh, sure he did in person. Cash is awesome. He's awesome. Good vibes. Yeah, he's, 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 he's a good dude. All right, so that was wild. I can't believe we came across that clip like that. That got me so hard. <laughs> Wait, that's weird. <laughs> that's super weird. Not like that, but you know what I mean. No, Russo, I don't know what you mean. I'm so hard for drifting. For cash. Yeah, it's no brainer. This Jasmine. Oh. Yeah, you heard me. <laughs> oh, the, oh, the, I was telling him. He I'm moved like, the wall a little bit. I was like, yeah, man. Be careful diving into that inner clip. Honestly, I think that's what was going to make or break us is how we manage going from outside zone two to three to inner clip. For everyone, not just me. I think yeah. anyone who managed that correctly was doing good. What else we got? Rome, Dad. Um, been too long. For uh, Rome. Power. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. Turf. How you be? Chilling, bro. Yeah, dude. I'm two weeks. Okay. All right, so talking about early exits. Von Daddy, um, bro. bro. I didn't really see this one coming, but like I said, I really did think Turk was due. Look at that, three-wheeling. Von was looking good, but Ryan just had a little bit more in the uh, Yeah, that, in a the little chamber. bit more of that dog in him. Yeah. He's hungry, bro. And then... Turk is, is, is out here hungry. Hey, he better be, boy. Look at that yeah. angle. Uh, so, sorry, there's a pole here, but... Woo! Tree wheeling. Look at the pole that they have out there for the uh, for the Still outside zone too. Just way short of that yeah. zone. Yeah. A lot of momentum loss, I guess, That's from that three wheel into tipping and, down. And it's, it's right in front of the judges, so yeah. just not not a good spot. And you're gonna see right here. I loved right how here. his angle was a lot of the weekend, to be honest. Yo, and he was oh, killing it. He was killing it all weekend. That flick in the was pretty cool. He just overrid. And afterwards, I saw him. Look at that. He kind of just, I know, dude. Dude, straight as an arrow going through here. But he fired off and missed a lot of that. But time. I think he also saw that Vaughn was probably just going to, you could tell it, yeah. right? You're like, wow, it's a heavy, heavy transition. Yeah, he completely missed that z- and zone. And I spoke to him afterwards, and he just kind of just closed his eyes. And he was like, oh, I cannot believe I made such a, like, a stupid mistake. But he was, he was bummed for a second, but it was like, it was like, whatever. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. like you said, the dude's a legend. Dude's been champion twice already. Yeah. So, like... He's just out there. He's genuinely and, out there having a good time. And came off a one-year hiatus and won the first event he was at. So. Yeah, yeah. Whatever, bro. He's, a, he's, he's literally having a good time. Every time I see him out there, he's just, like, absolutely just having a ball. What else did we see in 32 that was way on? Um, That was the early exits, but Wang was out, top 32. I mean, I know Olsen. Elson and Olson's on right like now. yeah you he's ain't beating that dude sorry dude's on fire right now Phased dude it. is vibing yeah not the best uh bracket to be lined up with at the moment for uh for Forrest again I know he has a huge fan base but it, it's it's the competition is getting steep out there man now on the live stream mm. okay all right let's move on Oh, here is a banger. Field Rome. Oh, that's right. But this was this was top 16, right? Top 16 right here. Yeah. So we just came out of the top uh, intro, top 16 intro. And then uh, started top off Top 17. This... What? Top 17. There's seven oh! There. oh, shit. Top 17 again. Dude, you're not wrong. Hold on. Let's backtrack on that. Yeah, that's the vibe, right? There was a protest after... Why didn't they run that first, though? I don't know. They did the same thing in Jersey with Chelsea, remember? 
Mm, interesting. So, right. Backtrack on that. And where's that clip at that I got? So, uh, it was Swornson and Novak. Swornson had won, right? Mm -hmm. And then they protested. And after uh, this was out, I think it was a, a, as soon as it ended or whatever. And then when they went to top 16, it ended up being top 17. And they ended up running the second half of the battle, I think it was. Or, or they just ran it again or made it a one more time. So, um, so let's watch that 32, right? Yeah, it was 32. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we're last. Right, so... Dude, one more time? There, but this wasn't... One more battle. Novak and Swanson. That was what you were just saying. Going back. But that's going to lead into this. Yeah. All right, so this is OMT. They went one more time on the first time they went. But this is the run that we're really taking a look at. Like, All right. let's see. Yeah, because the reason they went one more time is because he said that Swanson strained on the bank. No. That wasn't why, I don't think. They both just really didn't have great runs. A dive. That wavering right there. I don't know about that. The one thing I was listening to him say that when I had to record this, I'm like, bro, well, if he, that dude didn't do that on the bank and mess up Nick's line in the chase, then of course you end up like that. But what did he do? He hit the wall. Did you see? Like, Hold on. You'll see in the replay right here. Boom. Oh, Nick uh, almost about to get hit. Has to do something. Now, look, now his line's all off. He's got to try to compensate. It's like, all right. It's like, well, I wonder why. It's like he's got to, like, settle back into a line here. He, that wasn't great for him, but. But, hey, really the deal is, like, out of that disruption of him, like, hitting the wall or whatever, this kind of went down. They thrashed on the car. They gave they gave that run, that win. The judges decided after that. Sorensen won. And so on. Then we were here. So that call came from him in the car. No, oh, so he Not the spotter. Him. There was kind of two things. So on Nick's lead right here, so he's talking about the alternator right here because in the lead here, watch. Back off because he hit the wall. I don't know what he was thinking or when he was saying that other stuff. But. A little tap right there. Was that the street in there? No, that was this it was on the bank. So the it sounded like that. You heard them talking about that? Mm -hmm. On the bank, you'll see maybe in the replay. He scrubs on him. Yeah, right there. So I was a little weird. And honestly, Nick was like, we can't, like, prove it. But, like, dude, the car just, like, started firing only on four cylinders. So that was, like, a little hard to prove. But what Nick is saying, like, he'll, he'll say it right here. He kind of said it best in this clip anyway. So here's him talking about it right here. On his lead. Right. Not Nick's lead. When when Swanson went into the wall, he straightened for 
for whenever he came, whatever happened when he came into it. Well, we'll take a look at it. They're actually sticking and trying, so hopefully we get it. We'll see what happens if we rerun the battle or if I get it. I think it would probably run again since that would mean both of us zeroed, I think, in our leads. So, and then second lap, he hit me on the bank, and then the car just started falling off. So, I don't know. Oh, I see what <laughs> you're to make it work and almost made it work, and then he hit me again, and then it just. So yeah, then they wound up, you even see in the video right here, we got the protest. They accepted the protest. Uh, so, uh, I see what you're saying. You're right. So it was like top 17. You're right. <laughs> it's wild. I'm glad that it just goes to show you, you have to review that footage. Here, Novak was out and then he was back in. <laughs> So they explained that right before his run. Where was it? Right. Well, here we are. We are seeing these vehicles that we saw hours ago on track. We have to rerun. So also double fold here. Bringing up Ryan Sage. He's giving my co-host for yeah, yeah. the time. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. So uh, break down what happened here. Protest thirty two. The breakdown. Yeah. So what's the other name, dude? Jared. Name thief. Initially, yeah, Novak's team protested on the basis that in the lead run that Sorensen had, that he had a textbook case that was off of his grip. Now, right there, if we slow it back down, you're going to be able to see it pretty clearly. Now, sometimes the judges will give a little bit for a second, but when it actually goes opposite right there, that is pretty much over the line, and he does it twice. So, the protest went to does the it twice. stewards. It's out of the judges' hands. The driver stewards agreed. It's a tough call. Both but you're right. You know, they have to have an angle. That Can't be there doing that too long. Now, you know I think that's what a lot of people didn't understand about that call. But there you go. I don't know. It's just one of those things. It and you're right. It happened in New Jersey. New Jersey. So To, to the chick. Right. So, there, there's consistency Against Dimitri. There. Yeah. Some of you guys may not like it, but uh, we broke I mean, that down a little bit because that was consistent. interesting. Yeah, this battle was nutty too. So, back to top 32, this battle right here, dude. Yeah, so let's just watch this and then, like, see. I know people got questions. Uh, Alec Robbins, Dean Alec Robbins. That's who I was spotting for. I was spotting for Alec Robbins, uh, before that, uh, in 2021. Go right, this is wild. <laughs> yeah, and uh, Robert Thorne. Robert Thorne, like that's, yeah, it's, uh, it's crazy, so. I'm burning, I'm burning, fatty. Dude. All right, player. Yes, baby. <laughs> Swing and a miss, strike three. Man. Bro. What? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, James is pretty frustrated on that. Yikes. It did it happen to Boss Man? He was looking so good, too. Look, I got popcorn on my shoulder. I'm being a mess over here. Oh, too much. I know, a drinky. Crazy, though. It's, it's this interesting thing where you watch the momentum kind of carry the rear end of the car and come around. So, um, yeah, it, uh, it's interesting. Look at him. He was just pinned. <laughs> See, Robin's doing a good job chasing him. Falls down a little bit. Comes back in. And just too much sauce on this transition. Oh, this is green. <laughs> oh, so it's because of calm. Yeah, I got him drinking the elusive drink. Nobody knows. You can see right there. The judges are now over there. Ryan's going to rejoin me uh, in a moment um, after we get done conversing. But Alec Robbins had an independent straightening in that chase position. Well, but like, that bank has been. Yeah, coming off the bank, he has a large correction. If they're going to call it, they're going to call it, right? So this happened before the. That's what I'm saying. There, there, is, so, there is consistency. It's you got to be consistent. So they did. Just they were like, fair. They don't like them calls, you know. Yeah, it sucks, but you know what? Because it's just like something you can't see that's that obvious. But like, yo, when you're a driver, driver, that's a big deal, right? Yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Like if if you're going against someone, they do that. You're like, what, bro? Like, nah. But 
breakthrough after a major especially at this level so here's the second half of the room I knew this was going to be a banger run for James, like Chase was. <laughs> Scrub a dub. He's on that Man, door. Look at that. I knew he was going to put on a heater. He had to. Chase. He had to. He had to. So, I'm not going to try to get into the breakdown and, and start uh, stealing your show. But, like, in that situation, in my head, I'm like, Oh, you go lead the lead, James Zero. Alec, yo, he he did his lead run. It was he didn't do anything wrong. He won that. But they both fucked themselves on, on the, the first, first one. one. So yeah, on the first one, if they both so James independently zeroed and then Alec independently zeroed according to what they're saying, right? Yeah. Because of the strand. So then that washes that first half of the battle out and then everything gets put on the uh the next half of the battle which is this chase run now obviously in order to create a huge impact you would have to be very close and, uh, uh, you, know, you know what i mean he misses two zones right there you know and it's funny too don't right? get me wrong the x factor felt like it was there though yeah yeah for <laughs> like, sure. bro, now james had the x going. i will <laughs> say like it goes tip for tap you know he gets it this time but later on when we get into the dylan battle you'll see something similar to where he doesn't get it that time. Mm. You know what I mean? So Yeah, I, that's such a hard thing. It's, you'll have to break that one, one down. I'm yeah. not gonna we're not gonna get into that. I don't think we touched on the Robins and and indeed one, but as you can see here, it was just a very thin line and unfortunately a lot of the judges just deemed it enough for it to be the win for Dean. Yeah. Rough rough loss for uh for Robins for sure. Dylan Dean, so let's look at that one. But uh, did we say in the Sorensen battle then Nick won. Yeah, Nick won. So then he, he moved on. Yeah, he, he actually got... won a bat on uh, Dylan, too. Uh, did we watch that? Well, we haven't gotten into the 16s yet. Oh, we didn't watch the 16 one? No, because we had uh, We didn't have to. We, we just... Well, so, so, well, Dean won? Really yeah. Yeah. The Dylan Dean one seemed to be... Uh, it's going to be the one that we... Chelsea Forsberg? That was a big one. All right. That was a, a pretty big one as, as well. Because that went one more time, and I was like... That should have went one more time. That one's gonna be on the breakdown. We know that, right? With uh, when we do the, the his journey. climb, yeah, yeah his, his climb, climb to, to the, the podium, victory, yeah, chasing the gold. All right, what do we got here? We asked everyone what they wanted us to review, and the Dylan Dean one. And we're just gonna briefly touch on it here, but uh, it was brought up a lot. People were like, "Why? How? When?" Um, so we get to kind of look over it really quick, and then later on we'll have an episode where I get really into it turk i thought this one was it for turk i thought he was gonna run away with it because he was looking good in practice he was looking that's good. what i'm saying he was due oh yeah he's he's gonna have to let off he's gonna have to put it down boy as soon as i saw we had to go against him i'm like this dude's gonna turn it up dude so yeah a lot of the battles were great we're not gonna go through and check out every single one but do the uh yeah, you reposted it, right? So did they say the same thing? Well, no, I already saw everyone was like, Dylan Dean, we need to see that. Like, So let's see where we're at. Is this OMT? Freaking saga, dude. Do we need to see the first one? Wait, what? Actually, I think it might just be in the one in the one more time is when it finally went down. Wait, is this? Yeah, let's check that out. Right. One more time against Novak. Two more times against Olsen. James Dean having nitrous issues, but he fought back. Oh, wait, this is OMT. What? Check. Yeah, I think it's this one. I think this is where it all goes down. Crazy. Yeah, yeah nitrous yeah. issue. Yo, he had a nitrous issue and then just was like, whatever. I'm just going to fall How yeah. did he do that? He said he was in third Instead gear, of fourth on the back, he was in third. Third. And then when he transitioned into the inner clip, second. <laughs> yo, yo. But, he, but if you watch the footage, he was, he was keeping up. Bro, I know. I was like... I, I couldn't believe it. I was like, what in the world is going on out Bond here? was pumped. Bond was on the radio like, that's insane that you did that with no nitrous or anything. Like, So which run was that? The first runs? Uh, it was the one before this one. So then they fixed the, it for this, right? The, ba the battle before this one. All right, so I think we should be able to All right, see so this is the OMT. Yeah. Let's check it. Right back into it. The 
<laughs> I'd say. So, Solid. what do you think Dean did on that run that was detrimental? That transition. Hold on, let me watch this again. I mean, he's just more consistent on the bank right here, for one, and dialing into him. A little squirrely there. Dropped it. Well, Dylan was dropping down as well right there, so. Look, you see how. Ooh, in the zone. You see how Dean gets into Fire the zone? right there. Right. This right here, this transition. He was so close right there. That was sick. X factor for me. Now, I'm not trying to get into it too much, but I'm just asking him like, what he's looking at. I have my theories on what I think it was. Right there. But I like how yeah, because Dylan dropped down. I like then how he, Dean he gets into. Path. I like how Dean gets into outside three. Now, pay attention to that mm -hmm. outside zone three by Dylan. Now. That's what I was saying. That transition. Woohoo! Like, so close and nice. Pony boys. Wow, they're really putting the pressure on my guy I know, dude. here. J Rod does not let up on that. <laughs> dude, you drive the Mustang. <laughs> so far for me, Dean looked better on the bank in the chase. And Dean has a fat lead run, which is beautiful right now. Look at this lead run. Oh my god. Come on. Did you see that? No zone two, really, for Dylan. Three. Three, sorry. Wow, Dylan right there, though. That was pretty gangster. But for me, it was like this. I have theories on what I think they dinged this replay. But I think this missing this outside zone three is a, is a huge Look at this lead run, though. This lead one was just better now that I'm looking at it like this. Look at this. No, dude. Like Hughes, yeah, right. proximity is okay. Now look, look at, look at, look, how look at Hughes. Zone. Look how he no moves. zone. Not, I love Hughes. I love, him. but I'm just. <sighs> now I like the dive. That I do like exciting. the dive. Yeah. You know, yeah, I see it. So. Now, Dean fills out outside zone three. So, what do we think? How did Dylan win here? Proximity? I, like, I what? believe... I saw Dylan fall off the bank a little bit. I saw Dean fall off the bank a little bit. I believe... I, did, did he? Did I, Dean? I'm just saying what they said. You'll see later on, I believe it's uh, Chris Yule that ex gives his explanation that he thinks he just came off of the bank too much. Those dad. Even J Rod, I need an explanation, brother. My pony boy's let's out. See, let's see what Yule says here. I'll be honest, I'm shocked all three of them agree with it. He's going to give a uh, <clears throat> stellar explanation here. I disagree with that. Good, and Dean comes down way too early. He's saying Dean in the chase, right? But Dylan slowed up and dropped a little. And then, literally, he mimicked Dylan a half a second late, like later. If a half a second. And they, and they don't even mention how Dylan missed outside zone three. Ryan was doting on James Dean on how strong his lead but. run was. But Dylan was doing the flying V. He, didn't really, he had good proximity, but didn't really mimic his angle. All right. It's a tough one to swallow, right? I get why people are mad now. I get why you're so mad. Yeah, a lot of people were, uh, were asking that. I was a little... I mean, I could have seen this go one more time at least. Again. I think there was enough on I think the table. so too. I'm just trying to get to the replay. Whatever, watch from here. Transition at the right time, causing Turk to... Trap tap. Trap taps. Also, watch. Watch the replay. Uh, replay. Waste 30 here. What are you talking yeah, about? He drops he down, down once there. But they. So did, so did Dylan. Okay, okay, okay. I see a little bit of it, but. Yeah. But look, I like how Dean fills out outside zone three, though. He's in the zone, though. He's mimicking him, though. 
You see it live. So if you're going to ding Dean for missing outside zone one, then why not ding Dylan for missing outside zone three? I'm not saying he didn't come down a little bit. Okay. You can't tell from that angle. That's not the angle. But he fills out our zone three with him. He mimics him well there. And I think that's something that, you know, again, I'll get into more, but I just oh, I think something that should be taken into account. And then when you you turn around to the other Let's side. Let's see again here. The top view, the view. Oh, it's the other battle. Look at that. So he dives down a little bit. He looks bit so much better on the bank, though. And then, I, look, he... That's a hard one. I, that's OMT to me, yeah. Completely misses it. I think there should have been another. At least. Well, leave that at that. That is what it is. And that's why everyone requested this battle to get uh, dissected a little bit more, even though we kind of went into it a little bit. Yeah, though, just yeah. check it out or whatever. Yeah, and then we had... Denof Dog, dude. Just shredding, killing it. Dude, the team was vibing. Everything was just, everything was on point, man. He had just, he had a good mental state and everything. It was just cool just being in the radio with him and just chugging along here. We definitely had a fight through a lot. We had a fight through, damn, they're half of Drift Alliance, dude. <laughs> Forsberg, Turk. Yes. Oh, wait, no. Turk, the first battle with the Nof Dog. Big Dog. Oh. <laughs> Dang. Oh. What a gangster though. Stays in it. Later, dude. no, no, we're not playing none of that foo foo. We yeah. out. <laughs> like, I'll keep going, bro. That's gangster. I actually seen a couple people do that this weekend. I yeah. was like stoked. I was like, yeah, dude. You guys ain't here to play that footsie stuff here. They ain't playing soccer. Whatever here, footsie dude. kind of things people footsie do. Good transition, dude. Smoked out, couldn't see none. But yeah, that was sick. Um, we saw Dylan kind of what happened. He he came through, just went a little deep, a little deep there. Line was really, ugh. but then but like, this this was when uh, was leading. Yeah, he was we leading. See this this here. And uh, Chelsea asked him after too. He's like, "What happened, bro?" Like, and he's like, "Ah, oh, I just messed up." Like, that's, I know he had a so million cool. one, yeah. one more times this weekend. Like, yeah. you could tell he just missed. He yeah, he just miscalculated there. And then he was like, "All right, that's it for me, dog." But I'm gonna like this is the home crowd. Let me put a show on. He definitely looked like he was having a blast, and oh yeah, it was a very genuine. Like, oh, I just messed up. He's such a genuine dude, and. He was uh he was driving with a broken middle finger. Yeah. He had a glove with like some sort of metal thing in it, giving everybody the, the 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 fucking bird. Yeah, birdies. And then the boys came out, Mustang boys, super hyped out there. Oh yeah, my dude. god. Dean on the podium. Pan out. Yeah, Dean on the podium. Dean on the podium. I was dude. so stoked. Like, I always get so hyped, you know, when the homie wins. I always try to run up and like say what's up. I remember the first time in the E46 winning in Long Beach. It was super emotional for obviously him and me. I was like so stoked for him. He worked so um, hard for that. Yeah, it was wild. And we were just like, what? What, dude? Like, oh my God. So like I always try to run up whenever he wins and like say something real quick. But like I was like on the spot like trying to think of something as I was filming and this is what I came up with real quick. It was pretty funny. Yeah, boy! Yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boy! Yo, yo, RTR needs to come out with a 3P t-shirt just for Chelsea. Yeah. Yeah, boy. Damn. You know, he knew what was going down right in those moments. But then he runs over here, it's talking to Dylan, like, Yo, bro, what happened? <laughs> oh, I did ask James too when he got out of the car. I think it was like after. I was like, dude, how does it feel 
to finally have success in the car. And he's like, he feels so good. <laughs> I'm like, I bet, bro. So cool to see him on the podium. He said, I can't believe I just did that run without nitrous. <laughs> like, and Chelsea's like blown away. He's like, yeah, like, bro. I don't know how you did it. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, oh, we got to turn this up so everyone can hear. I can't believe I've done that run with no nitrous. On both laps. It was why you did that. There they are announcing Chelsea. Yeah, boy! <laughs> I saw you down there. I gave you a hug. I was stoked. <laughs> oh, yeah, because it was love. Oh, yeah, let me pop this monster open. Player. Still fired up for the home crowd, you know? Dude, yeah, doing so bad. So many people were pumped for him. So many people. We were in the stands, obviously. You could just see a lot of support for uh, for Dylan out there, for sure. Yeah. So that was awesome, man. It was Seattle. I like Seattle. It's one of my favorite tracks to go to. All three of you guys. Let's do triple. Let's pull oh, this to drive the most amount of laps, and I think I did that today. Dude, I don't know if I got the beginning of his speech. It was amazing because... I was thinking the same thing. Taylor, you guys have painted, you guys have painted a, a great picture, very diverse, but elaborate on today's event. What an event. My only goal is to drive the most amount of laps, and I think I did that today. Dylan did too. How many more times did you have? A lot. Oh, all three. But yeah, look at this. Top of the podium. The nope dog. Killing it. So I like, cool. I like, the, I like when they did it. It's the best part. You look at Chelsea. He's so sneaky. He he saves it and waits till you. I don't lose know. It. I'm not into this celebration anymore. He saves it until you run out, and then he goes and sprays you. I get it, but it's I don't know. What would you rather it be? I don't know, dude. Matt Fields is pretty fucking good. He like jumps up and does some oh, crazy yeah. shit. Oh yeah, yeah. Like, about that. Yeah. I want to see the action like, right on stage. I want to see them mowing it down. He came down like, and trying to spray us, dude. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at the I'm like, get out of here with this fool. Yeah, bro, yeah. Take some of that. Yeah, that shit was cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> Nitto Harry, dude. That is so funny, dude. All right, the math. We got to get into the math. We're getting, we're getting out of control. Let's do the arithmetic. So. I like this math today. Math. I hate math. So here's this. This was last time. Yep. And also, if we want another reference, Manufacturer Cup. Vaughn Strategy still, killing, still it, killing it. Vaughn Strategy still killing it. All right, so here it is, I think, right? Standings. Oh! The boy. Listen. Uno. This setup just might be it, baby. I'm loving it right now. So, Denofa back at the top, baby. Yeah, it says, it'll tell us. That's all we wanted in our life. How many points? I say it says a little further down. Let me see here. Oop. So, here's the change, just quick for the top three. It was Osbo, Field, and Bocci's. And now, it's Denofa, Osbo, and Bocci's. Wow, okay, yeah. So, Chelsea from fourth to first, because he wins. That's pretty big, obviously. Matt Field. And. Wow, uh, Matt Field kicked out of top three. He got kicked out of top three. Osbo got taken out early in top 16 by Ryan Turk. So, that was huge that that happened. Definitely. And then, Odie... Odie was in three, stays three. Okay. Right? Yeah. Well, how many, what, what's the point difference now? Let's see. Three. And oh, wait, he, possible. All right, so... So Chelsea now has 363. Simon's still five. Simon's still five. Matt, four. fourth. Matt out of top three in the fourth. Jeez. Dean, six. Still knocking on the outside here. What was... So before this event... Dean was seven. Dean was seven, so yeah, Dean so moves up a spot. Wow. 
Where was Hughes? Hughes was ninth, and now he is seventh. Mm, not bad. Uh, Forsberg was sixth, and now he is ninth. Ryan was eighth, and now he is still eighth. Wow, Ryan's still hanging in there, though. I mean, low he... contender, dude. A little far out, but man, that's that's crazy. Yeah, you so. See... So you can see the points breakdown. So Ryan, Osbo two, all of them, still two, hundred points away. Dylan's eighty-two. Oz was twenty-eight points. It's away. It's so close. This is like yeah, this kind is of like, the best part, right? This is yeah. It comes down to these last two battles, these last two rounds. Obviously, I mean Chelsea's in the lead right now, but you know he's he's not in the clear. You know what I mean? Like yeah, and like if he does this again, and depending when and where people get taken out, but that could go for anyone as well too. You know what I mean? Yeah. So there it is. Let's see. Manufacturer. Is that down here? Auto Cup. 804 Four. points. I was, they're uh, way up there. I texted Vaughn. I was like, yo, congratulations. Like Ford, the Ford Mustang has won half of the season of Formula Drift. Right? What do you say? He was like, thanks, dude. <laughs> but like, isn't that, it's that's just crazy. Wild. Like, for me, I'm like, that's nuts. Like, you really are, like, that dude in history. Like, that's bringing <laughs> that down, dude. Like, yeah, like. And everybody that's associated, look, Nitto, number one. In NASCAR, if if Ford won half the year, like, half the events in the year. That's huge. That's crazy. I feel like that's pretty nuts, those stats. We have any more under the that's some, like That's some, like, Ford versus Ferrari shit, you know? Yeah, so that, that's the thing. Uh, this week, well, we got we got plans going on. We're heading down to Kentucky. Heading down to the old Kentucky. Maybe. What are we doing there? Maybe we can. Uh, well, we're going. Well, you're going to be doing your film stuff. I'm going to go down Saturday to judge the Drift in the Street League event that they're going to be doing, the Top 32 battle. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go there, hang out. We're going to go do the thing, shoot a little bit of that. And then Sunday. Sunday is what Sunday. I'm so stoked to go for. Sunday, uh, the first time ever we got sanctioned toge event. So a mountain pass and it's who did who off. who tell them uh, drift indie. All right, Edgar definitely made it happen. Everyone there made it all happen. So we're gonna be down there. I don't know who's all gonna be driving. I don't know. I know Dustin's coming through. Uh, B Wax coming through. Oh yeah. So there's gonna be a lot of dudes that are there drifting this mountain pass and uh, really trying to get a, a feeler for what it is. I'm sure Humboy over here is gonna get so a lot yeah, of stuff. So yeah, it's a toge lines. event in uh, the Appalachian Trail, basically. Yeah, Appalachian Trail, Corbin, Kentucky. So we're gonna be jumping in the ambulance and scooting down there. Yeah, I don't even know what to expect. I'm just so stoked. I, I it's the first one in the country, so like I I need to see it. I need to see how it's gonna go down. Yeah. There's and, a lot of other things going on, but like I want to go to the mountain pass. I think we'll probably review that too. We'll do one of these. Like yeah, a we'll do a little special. Yeah, but we're also gonna try to do some lives from there, so you can check out that. We'll probably mess around. Maybe we'll see a battle in the. Uh, we'll Drift talk some League trash. Thing, uh, right. Street League, drift in the street league. That's gonna be good. Good looking cars. Good looking battles. Tight technical. It'll be nice to get back out there and see some of those guys again. Yeah, it's been a while since we've seen them. I know I, it's been a while since I've seen them for sure. Just hanging out with all of them and stuff. So, so we'll do live, get you guys a vibe. But yeah, until until the next one. Yeah, Utah will be in Italy. We're not going to be in Utah. Well, I think we're gonna like live stream it. Well, you're we'll gonna probably be live stream it. Well, you're gonna be working. You're working on the weekend. On Saturday? No. Nah. You're not working that Saturday. What Saturday is it? It's the Saturday before your wedding. No, we're gonna do a live of it. I thought you were working. No, not on the weekend. What is wrong with you? What are you putting out my 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 schedule right now? Sorry. I thought you were working. I was like, oh, I guess we're not good. I'm going to try to live stream it. We'll see. I'll be in Italy. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe we'll be in a cafe internet. or something. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Maybe You know what I mean? We could probably just comment on it live and just do it. And you I guys hang out with us and do the thing. So that means I won't be spotting for Chelsea at Utah. Yeah, Just kind of bummed, but I I came on. The, we both jumped on a team at very late. In the yeah, season. exactly. Yeah. We both jumped. So on, we, did, we didn't know. Yeah. We all like. Oh, I guess we're not doing nothing. We're gonna go to Italy for his wedding and everything. But 
Yeah. It, it'll be cool. I think I think he'll be I think they'll be fine. Man. This guy, he'll be fine, I'm yeah. telling you. He's yeah, a he's a real he'll be he's good. a shooter. He's a real good guy. You know what This I mean? guy Denofa, he's he's, he's he good. likes pizza. He does. I got one of those jackets by the way. Oh nice. Yeah. As soon as Cody brought it out, I snagged one. I'm like, I got I got this right here. I don't got the box though. Some boy got the box. But what do you know about this? In the box, bro. Oh, one day this is gonna be worth a mad money. Chelsea Dunn, if we're gonna sign it and say to the Pizza Lord Russo. How many times do you get stuff saying, "Oh, I'm just gonna get so and so to sign this eventually," and then you just forget? I've never asked anyone to sign anything. I feel like it's weird, but also like I get it for something like that. Yeah, yeah. I always but forget. Also, I just like you know because I see them all the time. I'm just like, yeah, nah. like I don't, I don't know, kind of a. It's weird, right? Yeah. I'm like, yeah, bro, uh, I just need your signature. All right. All right. See y'all next time. Peace.